In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a water effect using the concepts we have learned so far. Specifically, we will apply this effect to the image of a wolf, which can be accessed via the link provided in the video description. To solve this problem, we will follow these steps. First, read an image, then flip the image vertically, combine the original image and the flip image, and finally, we will save and display the final image. To open Jupyter Notebook, let us first go to our Windows Explorer and create a folder for housekeeping. I've created mine in my E drive under computer vision and I've created a folder over here. So creating a water effect, I'll click this and I've created another folder over here and named it image and I've kept our wolf image in this folder. So the link is there in the video description. You can follow along. So I'll go back one step. And here I will open my Jupyter Notebook. So I'll copy this path, click start, type Anaconda prompt. And I'll be working in my base environment. So first I will go to my E drive. So I'll type E colon, press enter, CD space. And then I will paste my folder path. Press enter. And now to open Jupyter Notebook, type Jupyter Notebook. Press enter. So this is our Jupyter interface to open Jupyter Notebook. Click on new and press Python 3. So now we are in our Jupyter Notebook. Let us name the file first. Let us import our OpenCV library, import CV2. Press shift enter. In case your OpenCV library is not installed, so you can install it from Jupyter Notebook. Press escape A to insert a row above the cell and then you can give a comment install libraries with the exclamation mark type pip install opencv python this is the name to install opencv library and in case you are not aware you can always google it by pip install opencv all right so now let us load our extension to format the code so with the percentage sign load press tab for auto completion and then nb black in case nb black is not installed you can copy this paste it in install libraries replace underscore with dash and press shift enter to run it. Now to read our image, which is present in our image folder over here. So we can type image is equal to cv2.mread and under quotes, the folder name first, then our image name. Press shift enter, nothing happens because still we have to write a code for display. To display the image, we'll type plt.imshow underscore then to convert our image from bgr to rgb then cv2 convert colors then we'll call our image and then cv2 dot color underscore bgr to rgb all right so it, i think it will give me an error because plotlib is not yet installed okay i was right so import matplotlib dot pyplot splt and in case your matplotlib is not installed you can give a space and type matplotlib Shift enter the first cell, then run this cell, and then you can find, you can execute this cell. Okay. Still giving me error. Okay. Because I have not press shift enter over here in the second cell. I'll press shift enter. So it has run correctly. Now let us check the shape of the image. So the command is very simple image.shape. Press shift enter. So this is your height. First one is your height. Second is your width. And third one is your channels so this is our color image so rgb or bgi channels so now we are going to put a reverse image below this image so this will come over here like this so what is going to increase the height is going to increase so height will be double now width will be same and channels will be same all right so we'll create an umpire array which will double the size of the height that is 890 and it will keep the width and the channel same so let us do that. Let me comment it first. Then new image is equal to np dot zeros. I am pressing tab, but it is not auto completing because we have to call numpy library as well. So import numpy as np. And in case your numpy is not installed, you can put a space in between and type numpy. Run this cell first. Install libraries. Then run this cell. Import libraries and then you can get a help over here. All right, so the first is shape. So the shape will be same, 890, 12803. Let me write it down. So we are going to double 890 
all right 1 2 8 0 and 3 will remain the same so how i will write i will make this dynamic so if i write 2 over here it will give me only the channels all right so i'll copy this code put it in place of 3 then if i press 1 it will give me the width so i'll copy this command put it in place of 1 2 8 0 and then if i keep if i type 0 over here press shift enter you can see the height so in place of height i will put this command and then we have to double it so into 2 all right so now if we check our new image dot shape press shift enter you can see the 1280 width is same channels are 3 and 1780 is the double of 890 why i did this to make the code dynamic so later if you change this wolf image with something else and if it has a different dimensions you don't have to change the code over here i hope you are getting my point now let us display the new image so plt dot show then we call our image that is our new image and then we'll reverse it from bgr to rgb so the height will be same comma rows will be same and dimensions will get reversed so two colons and then minus one okay press shift enter so you can see now we have double the height and width is the same now we have to copy the first image that is our image original image over here in half of this area all right so let us do that copy the original image to the top half of the image so the code will be new image and then we will take our pixels up to 890 so up to 890 is colon 890 so it will start from zero over here and then we want the entire pixels of width all right so this will remain the same equal to what we will put over here image okay and then we will display our image i forgot plt.show over here let me write it down copy it paste it over here and press shift enter so there is some problem in the code what it says clipping input data to the valid range for him show with rgb data okay oh, all right all right so the error happened over here when we put np.0 yeah by default the data type is float 64 let me check it new image dot d types by default the image is flow 64 we need to give it a u int data type comma d type equal to np dot u int 8 all right i hope now it will not give me error let us run this cell run this cell run this cell all right now so now it is proper so now i will flip the original image vertically by reversing the order of its rows and then we will paste that reverse image over here so it will give a water effect all right so for inverting the image image underscore inverted is equal to our original image and now what we have to reverse we have to reverse the height so it is the first tuple right so in case you are confused it is like this image dot shape so we have to reverse 890 we are going to reverse the height right so this image will turn upside down when we will change the height so it is very simple you know that command which we are putting in the dimensions that is double colon minus one in height then our row will be same and then our channels will be same so let me first run it and we have to display this image as well so i'll copy this display command from here paste it over here press shift enter this will be image inverted okay now press shift enter so you can see so now the image is inverted now we will paste this image over here so we don't need this shape command anymore let me delete it and then i will comment this copy the inverted image to the bottom half of the new image so this inverted image will start from here so this will be 890 so we are starting our new image from 890 up till the end so we will not write anything after colon then we'll come on width and width is the actual width so there is no change in width and what we will replace over here our image so to display it let me copy the display command and uh, we will so this is also incorrect new in image and here also new image all right so i'll press shift enter so this has not reversed why because we have given the original image over here we have to give image inverted so now if i press shift enter it is coming proper 
So the final step to save the image, saving the image. So we'll type cv2 dot imwrite function. The imwrite function first takes the name of the image. So we'll name it wolf underscore water effect dot png and then our actual image which we want to save. So our image is new image. All right, press shift enter. So it should give true. That means the image is saved. Go to your Jupyter interface and you can see the image over here. If you open this image, you can see newly created image. So this video demonstrated that even the most challenging tasks can often be accomplished by utilizing the fundamental concept of a subject. So by utilizing our basic understanding of NumPy array, we were able to create a visually stunning image. So I hope you like this video. So please subscribe and I will see you in my next video.